Do you know what I was thinking? Uh, we actually never really vlog in New York. We're gonna have to think about some content ideas to get some YouTube videos based on New York because I know that people would absolutely love that. Right, so we're in Orlando and uh, we're excited. We're very excited. We're here for some Halloween festivities. This is my absolute favorite time of year. I love it. The parks have like loads going on for Halloween, which we'll tell you more about as and when we're going. We actually were in Orlando before. For when? Honeymoon. Coming up in seven years. <laughs> so yeah, we've been here before, but we are particularly here for the Halloween festivities and Instagram. Honestly, I've gotten so many tips from people on there and I'm looking forward to ticking off as many as we possibly can. So the plan this morning is to go to the outlets uh, that are close by our hotel. But before that, we're gonna try and grab something to eat because it's gonna be a long day of excursions. Um, and then we'll check in which is in a little bit to let you know what else we're getting up to. There you go. So this is the way the outlets are set up. You can see like there's kind of little avenues off this centre. And it's just lined with loads of different shops. So we came down to the outlets just to have a look around. Dara needs to get some swimming shorts. And really the only thing I would like to get is a North Face jacket for the winter because we're going to be into the winter pretty quickly when we go back to New York. It's still kind of mild weather in New York at the minute, but it does get cold in November. So that's what I'd like to get and anything else is really nice to have. So we'll show you around and I'll try to give you an idea of the prices to kind of see what it's like here. But these outlets are supposed to be really good. So hopefully we get a few bargains. I'm just having a quick look in Coach and you can see they have loads of Disney themed coach bags and clothes. Let's see what type of price here. $4.90 for this and it's saying it's half price. It's not bad. The prices are no different, like for the likes of the Nike. Obviously, there's loads of things on sale, but for anything decent, you know, they just heard an Irish accent walking by me. We're finished shopping now, absolutely delighted with the bits that we got. Like, delighted. I just didn't remember. And I say remember because I know when we were here the last time, we bought loads as well. And we loved the shopping. I just forgot that the shopping was so good in Orlando. We bought so much last time that we had to buy a suitcase. It was one of those ones, you know? Yeah! So, definitely recommended. These are the premium outlets on International Drive. And I'll show you everything that we bought when I go back to the hotel room. So where we're going to go for lunch now is called Bahama Breeze. And we're going because every second person on Instagram has recommended it. So, stay tuned. Alright, Dan, what did you get? Pineapple jerk chicken. And I got a salad and seafood chowder. We're just back at the room and I forgot I never showed you the room. So they only had a room with two queen beds. So this is the setup and the hotel is called the Aventura and it's on the grounds of Universal. We're over the pool. And you can see the volcano there in the background from Volcano Bay. We have an ironing board. We have a little coffee machine. We have this little vanity set up. Let's check this out. See, this is like a control panel. So for change the telly, you can change the lights. You can change the temperature. And all that kind of jazz. And then we have a bath, a shower, tile pot. <laughs> And that's it. I know that I said I'd show you what we bought in the outlets now, but we're actually going to go for a nap because holiday naps are next level. <laughs> and we are wrecked. We've just been so busy over the last few weeks with life and we're taking this time to relax. Yeah, you never get to have naps in actual life. No. Only on holidays. So we're going to take advantage. All right, talk to you in a while. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> we had a nap and it was everything that we dreamed of. <laughs> Best nap ever. It's only like an hour, but it was powerful. It was bang on an hour as well. Yeah. I didn't get to show you what we bought in the outlets. I swear I will. Now we're going to Disney Springs. This is another place that loads of people is recommending and we've never been. Outside the Lego store, they have like loads of 
Lego things, as you can imagine. And look at this, this is Elsa and Anna and Olaf and they're all made out of Lego. And then see that dragon in the water? That's Lego, like unreal. This place is so cool. Oh, the queue to get in. So cool, isn't it? We're looking for a Christmas tree decoration. We have loads of different ornaments from different places that we visit. So we're looking for one from here. We found the one. How pretty is that? $27 is all, but I say it's massive. <laughs> right, we came in the back and they have way more. And now we're thinking we're actually going to go with this one. Because it twirls. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what the name of this shop is, but it's basically Disney. And it's absolutely huge. They have a whole Halloween section. And I'm getting these Maleficent ears for Halloween Horror Nights in Universal. Aren't they deadly? I love them. We just walked by this place, Cooks Fish and Chips, and it actually is called Cooks of Dublin. So I'd say there's some Irish ownership or heritage. But this place here, Raglan Road, has been recommended loads. And I think we're gonna have to go there instead. Look, the hole in the wall. Good morning. We got up this morning and spent it at the pool. So we had our coffee, had some breakfast, and I finished off my book, which I'm delighted about. Before we go out for today, I want to show you what we bought yesterday. We picked up loads of little bits in not only the outlets, but also at Disney Springs. We went there last night. So I want to show you what we got. Right, so first up are the bits that I got in North Face. So I did tell you that I was planning to get a black North Face jacket, or maybe I didn't say black, but my plan was to get a black North Face jacket. And I actually didn't like any of the black ones. So I got this one instead. It's like this bottle green or forest green color. And I just think the color is gorgeous. It's long. So it goes right down to the knees. You have the little logo here. And on the back, I got that for 140 full price. It's $300. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me throw it on for you. Right, this is it. I can't really show you full length, but you get the idea. Is the color just gorgeous? I think it's beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Then also in North Face, I got this hat. And it reminded me of the Aaron Jumpers from Ireland. I'll show you that on. Look at the little bobble. Next up are the bits that I got in coach. Look at these little Chelsea boots. Like, aren't they just gorgeous? I am going to get so much wear out of these. See, it has like coach written on the back of the heel. And I'm a sucker for the little details. <laughs> then I got this little bum bag. Just plain black leather and I am delighted with it. That was $100 and again, I think it's not like very trendy and I'm gonna have it for so long and get so much use out of it. I have a little black Lululemon one and I wear it all the time, especially with like golf. But you know, for going around the parks and stuff. And then the last thing that I got in coach was this hat. Like we're straight into winter when we go back to New York so that's why I'm kind of stocking up in the winter gear and especially here because they don't really get much of a winter in Florida so all of the kind of jackets and knitwear and things like the hats and stuff you get great prices on and this was this actually wasn't that cheap it was $60 but it's 100% wool so I was happy enough to pay that Although it's outlets, not everything is on sale. So the likes of Nike and stuff are still down there. They have got an outlet and you can get stuff like for a good price. I'll show you what Darren got in a second. But things like the runners and the Jordans and stuff, they're all still the same price. So there's not any savings on them. And speaking of Jordans, like the tiny box. <laughs> we got these for my niece and I just cannot cope. Look how small they are. Are you actually able, like look. So in the Nike store, Darren did get a great deal on these shorts. 
So we got these blue ones and then just the same in black and they were $20 each. Like Darren runs all the time so he does need a load of different kind of running clothes. And they actually double as swimming shorts as well. He wore them in the pool this morning so $20. He also got this Nike running top which is kind of like, you know, those high neck zips which I love on them. That was $50. And then he got this little kind of rain jacket for running as well, a New Balance that wasn't on sale. That's what I mean, like there was a New Balance outlet but all of the good stuff are kind of still full price. Then the last of Darren's bits, he got this Hellfire Club top for tonight. We are going to Halloween Horror Nights in the Universal tonight, so he got that. I'm not sure where we left it when we were looking for the, the tree ornament, but this is the one that we went for. And we both love it. Like this spins in the middle. And I think it's gotta be fab on our tree. That pub that we were in last night, the Raglan Road, they had like a little Irish shop beside us, so we had to go in and we obviously had to buy some. I got this bookmark, which is really pretty. And on the back it has the story of the Celtic Harp. And then Darren got his family crest. That's it, that's what we got. We are delighted with those bits. Honestly, the jacket and the boots is what I'm most excited about. I think I got great deals on those and I definitely know that I'm gonna get the wear out of them in New York. And then I just love all the little kind of knick-knacky bits as well, like the bookmark. I'm a sucker for all that kind of thing. Right, so now we are back from the pool and we're gonna go and play some crazy golf. I think it was the New Orleans or the Miami vlog. I was given a little bit of an update to say that I joined a women's golf society. So in case you're only watching this and you haven't seen them, ta-da! <laughs> I have started uh, playing golf. Well, I actually started over the summer and it's finished now for the winter, but I'll pick it back up in the spring. I definitely don't want to lose kind of what I've learned so far. So we're gonna go and see how many skills I can put to the test in this crazy golf. <laughs> but be a bit of crap. Now to be no driving, driving's my favor. Right, we'll tell you more about that when we get there. Chat to you in a few minutes. Bye. So that hotel over there is the one that we stayed in in our honeymoon. Yeah. Randomly just driving by it. Here we have just arrived at the mini golf and we're gonna go for Blackbeard's challenge. And I am going to slaughter Darren. And if I don't, I give up. If there's a forfeit, if Carly loses, what's the forfeit? Um I don't get to wear me molasses and there's No! <laughs> Like that was the worst thing I could have said. Super four field. I want to get rid of this. Oh. Well, man, it. That was handy. <laughs> Mini golf. Tell them what, what you were saying, what was the score? <laughs> Carly beat me by 11 shots. <laughs> in fairness, I did, like, it took me, I got two holes in like there six goes the excuses. You got a hole in one. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It was the, the, the one hole was to the side. No, two you holes. got a hole in one. I got no, loads the, of holes in one. Then you got holes in, holes in ones when I was getting holes in ones. Anyways, Carly swamped me. Not only did I swamp Darren, I was one point off the daily high. So it was like a daily challenge and Basically, the person who wins it is the lowest score. What you got? And I got 44 and they got 43. <laughs> so anyway, we are off for lunch now and we're going to a place called Cafe Tutu Tango. We're finishing up here at night right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we had lunch at that cafe too to Tango and it was actually really nice, wasn't it, Aaron? Yeah, it was like tapas, like, yeah. it was all different types of food. It wasn't just Mexican, very good. We had a couple of drinks there because, to be honest, we're building up some Dutch course. <laughs> so basically, we are gonna go to the grounds now of where we're gonna go for the Universal Horror Nights. Yeah, it's called City Walk. It's a whole like area where bars and restaurants are. And we're gonna go and see if they let us in. <laughs> Do you like my ears? Like, I actually cannot cope. Are they not the coolest ears ever? They aren't slighted, them, aren't you? Everyone knows they're not ears. The 
Lord. The horns. Real life horns. Show us your t-shirt. Love. Right. That's where we're going. That's the plan. And you're coming with us. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>Good afternoon. Hey, how you doing? We went to the Halloween Horror Nights last night, as you're saying, and we actually didn't get much footage because we were just trying to survive, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> so it was really cool. We definitely want to come back and do it all again next year, don't we, Dad? Yeah, we didn't get to do it all, but yeah, like there's actors going around dressed as like, you know, ghouls and stuff, and they'll just be walking straight, and then all of a sudden they'll jump out at you, which <laughs> is good. It's very good. So today we are doing Epcot and Epcot is like so highly regarded. Everybody who was messaging me about Orlando on Instagram mentioned Epcot and we just got here and we definitely think we're gonna love it because it's kind of like a trip around the world basically. It's celebrating different cultures, different countries. We're gonna try to get around to as many of them as we can. We are definitely not into roller coasters and that kind of thing. So we're just gonna go to the attractions and do like the little kiddie things. <laughs> so you can see this is Mexico. And you can see what I mean about like it being like Mexico. <laughs> All the shops, like everything is Mexican. It's so cool. We're going on this boat ride. No idea what it is. The queues are actually pretty quick in here. Yeah. So we're off to have lunch in China. Chinese food is my absolute favourite food. So it's a no-brainer. This is Norway. So that lunch was grand. It wasn't great. It wasn't the worst. <laughs> we're here to see the Frozen attraction. I love Frozen. Look how cool this place is, like, it's deadly. We're just off the Frozen ride. It was actually really cute. <laughs> and this is Germany. We're making our way around the world. This is Venice, look at the little bridges. You can see the sphere there in the background. But look how alike Venice this is, like we were in Venice. And it's like a little mini version of it, it's so cool. And then down the back, I think Rome is behind it. Darren, that's the pizzeria. It's in Rome. Look, we found Ireland. A little shack. <laughs> yeah, what a you. Like, did you see how elaborate Japan and China and all was? This is Ireland. And I don't know where they're going with the menu. Fisherman seafood pie. That smells good. They don't even have Guinness. Hello. We came on to wrap up the vlog for the day because we are exhausted. Like these parks really take it out, yeah, and especially with the heat and that. But we had a trip around the world. It was so cool. It's honestly like visiting little pieces of different countries. It's very, very good. And we've been to nearly all of them, haven't we? Yeah. Like bar one or two, which is amazing to, to say that we, we've done that as well. Yeah. yeah, as you can tell in our voices, we're absolutely <laughs> zapped of energy. But we had a great time. I think, um, you know, I definitely recommend coming here, especially yeah. if you're not mad so into like, attractions and rides and stuff like that. This is a good spot. Right, we're going home to watch Coco, I think. Yeah. On the iPad, we're gonna just have a cozy evening in and we'll chat to you tomorrow. We have lovely plans for tomorrow, yeah, so we'll fill you in. Fill you in there. <laughs> Good night! Bye. Bye. Good morning! morning so we're going kayaking this morning and oh my god it looks absolutely stunning i can't wait to show you when we get there we're just waiting on our uber now we've had some breakfast and coffee and i'm really looking forward to this 
Way more energized than we were yesterday, <laughs> lads. Gee, we were absolutely wrecked, weren't we, Carly, by the end of the day? Oh my God, like we could literally barely talk. We get into bed at eight o'clock and watch Coco and fell asleep watching that. Yeah. Like that's how tired we're we were. we by half eight. So these are the kayaks and as you can see, the bottom is see-through. Awesome. Coming to your lab. <laughs> so we're waiting to go on our glass bottom kayak. Over here, here's ourselves. This is not easy. I have been out here in like probably a year. We never <laughs> taught about this kind of element, did we? Well, I wore shorts, but like swim shorts. So did I. But like I didn't wear a bikini. You wore a big fancy dress. <laughs> it's like literally a gown. Yeah. It's going to afternoon tea straight after this. Well, go on, tell us about your experience. It's very hard. Like, my car hasn't gotten that level of workout on the boat ever. About 10 years. Yeah. So I know that I'm going to be sore later with the old dons. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's not fun for me either. Like, not fun from a workout perspective. And it's challenging, isn't it? Yeah. But the scenery is lovely. It's stunning. It's, it's not stunning around, Sean. Everything, something you do every day. Now this is more like it. We're going downstream now and we're just floating. We don't even have to paddle. Now see the two lads up there? They have a flight to catch in an hour. Like they have to be on the flight in an hour and we're in the middle of like the jungle. <laughs> They're definitely not catching it. I don't know what they were thinking. And the whole hour delay getting started definitely did them no favours. Hello, as you can see, we are no longer in Orlando. We're back in New York, disaster struck. So that whole kayak experience was just a nightmare from start to finish, to be honest. <laughs> I told you that we were an hour waiting to get started with the tour. So it was supposed to start at 11, it started after 12. It was really hard. <laughs> like even for Daryl, like he's way further than me. And then if things couldn't get any worse, we sunk the boat, <laughs> literally sunk it. Like I was standing on it at one stage. What happened was, it was Darren's fault, basically. <laughs> we were going downhill and I was like, oh, this is great now. This is more like, it. you know, we didn't have to row or anything like that. Just floating down. And then Darren tried to move himself, like reposition himself in the kayak. And he tilted it. Like I mean a tiny bit to the side and water get in. And that was it. Like, it started to sink really slowly. And I just didn't believe that was happening. Darren was like, Carly, Carly, the camera, the camera. And I was like, in a state of slow shock. <laughs> the whole thing just sank to the bottom. We were just standing in the river, like, oh. So long story short, so even though the camera was in a waterproof bag, it got wet and it broke, but now it's back working, but it wouldn't work for the rest of the trip. Now we only had the last day, last two days anyway that we missed on the vlog, but I did get some iPhone footage and I'm going to do a little recap for you now. So the next day we went to Disney World for Halloween festivities and it was just absolutely magic. I loved it. Years ago I seen a video of Hocus Pocus in Disney World and I was like oh I have to go and see it one day Hocus Pocus is my favorite film and that's what we went for like that's mainly why we went to Orlando this time of year to see that that whole show and it was so worth it was so much better even than I imagined and then also they had a big huge fireworks display they do that anyway in Disney but they had like a special light show on the Cinderella castle for Halloween and it was spectacular, honestly. And then on our last day, we went to play golf and it was actually deadly. We went to a local golf course just to play nine holes. We were paired up with two locals and we had great crack. We rented some golf clubs, a little kind of caddy <laughs> to bring them around with and we got lunch after that and then we headed to the airport. It was really, really nice. It was actually a bit nerve wracking because the way the golf course was, it was almost like in between housing estates. 
So there was houses all along the golf course and cars parked everywhere. And the thoughts of me hitting a golf ball and smashing a window was just giving me anxiety. <laughs> I didn't, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a really nice way to spend our last day. It was just chill and we had plenty of time then to get to the airport as well. That's it for this vlog. I definitely plan on doing some more New York based content. We did want to record some footage from last weekend because Darren ran the full New York marathon and I did my forced 5k race. The camera just wasn't working at that stage. It has since magically resurrected. <laughs> so hopefully it keeps working and I can get some more vlogs up. I know people want to see New York and I do feel like every time that we record we're on holiday somewhere and there's little New York content so more to come I promise. Thank you so much for watching. Always appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again very soon. Bye!